Hi, I'm Jordan from Jordan's Easy Entertaining and welcome to my 14 day homemade with love series. Today I'm going to show you how to make an awesome personalized gift by creating a stencil in Cricut Design Space, cutting it out with your Cricut machine, and then using a glass etching cream to apply your design to glass. So. I'm going to be gifting these mugs to my husband because we live in and love Texas. So of course you can put your own design on the mugs um, and this technique will work with a variety of different shapes. I picked up these mugs at Dollar Tree but they have a huge selection of other glassware and vases and plates and bowls and everything that this um, technique will work on. So let's get started. First off, we need a stencil. So in Cricut Design Space, we're going to go ahead and insert an image. Now I already know that I want to use the shape of Texas. So I'm going to go ahead and search for that in the search bar. And then it's going to bring up a bunch of Texas options. So let's see. This is the one that I would like to use. So I'm going to go ahead and insert it into the project and I'm going to size my image so that it fits on the mug that I'm going to be using. Now I'm going to insert a square shape and I want to make sure that this square is larger than the image and it is. So now I'm going to arrange it so that's behind the image and now I'm going to select both the image and the square and hit slice and that is how you make a stencil. It is super easy. So here's my stencil and I want to get rid of the original image and also the sliced um, section of the stencil. And you can see uh, it's connected right there so I don't have to worry about using transfer tape or anything like that when I go to cut it out. So now I'm going to connect to my machine and I need to search for the material that I'm going to be using and I am using vinyl, which is what you need to use for this project. And this is the particular vinyl that I'm using. And now I'm ready to send this to my machine. So I cut out my piece of vinyl so that I'm not wasting any and go ahead and load that into the Cricut machine and hit go let it cut out. Okay, now that my design is all cut out, I'm going to remove the piece of vinyl from my standard grip mat. and I'm going to replace the protective cover on there. And now I just need to weed out my design. So I've got my Cricut weeding tool, which always comes in handy. And again, like I said, I wanted to pick an easy to weed design and something that was going to um, allow me to not use transfer tape because so you'll see once I'm done weeding this image um, will hold together the beginning of the L and the end of the E are attached to the stencil so it's going to be really easy to transfer. So now to actually etch the glass I have my mug and we're going to be using Armor Etch, which is a glass etching cream, and this stuff is a very strong chemical, so we need some protective gear. So I've got final gloves, and I also have a mask that I'm going to be using. I'm sitting next to an open window. I have a foam brush, and I have paper towels propping up my glass mug. So my mug is already washed and thoroughly dried. And now it is time to put the stencil on. And again, this is when um, you want to use vinyl. You're only going to be able to use your vinyl stencil once because you're sticking it straight to the glass and just know that it's going to get destroyed after you put it on. Anyway, you want to make sure that you're, you have it centered and just stick it straight onto the glass. Be careful putting this on, you want to make sure that you don't have any bubbles or wrinkles in the vinyl. So we want to make sure that it's really secure to the glass because you don't want that etching cream getting underneath the stencil at all, or the cream will etch that part of the glass too. 
Now again, like I said, this etching cream is a chemical and it is a very strong chemical. Um, it can burn your skin, which is why you need to use the gloves. Like I can't reiterate that enough. It can cause permanent damage to your skin. And you definitely don't want that. So be careful using this. So start off by dipping your foam brush into the etching cream and just put a thin layer directly onto your glass, right on top of the stencil and just press it in. Now you're going to wait about two minutes and then apply a second layer of the etching cream right over that first layer. Just dab it on. You want a nice thick layer for this one. And I find dabbing just looks better than like wiping the brush because then you don't have streak marks or anything like that. So after you have the second layer on, you are going to just leave your mug alone for about five minutes. And now you're going to take your mug over to um, your sink, have a uh, low flowing water because you definitely don't want it to splash. And then you can use your brush, your foam brush to get all of the etching cream off. Now while your mug is still wet, um, just peel off the vinyl stencil. Again, I find um, just using that weeding tool helps to get the edges up because you can see this vinyl sticks pretty good, and which is what you want. So, um, you know, your design comes out nice and clean. So then just continue peeling that off until, until the whole thing comes off. So now that all the vinyl is off, just um, take a paper towel and wipe it down. And that's it. Now here you can see that I did have a little, a few little bubbles. You could see a little bit of the cream got through right here and a little bit right here, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, that's how you do this project. So that's it for today's project. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you decide to follow this tutorial to make um, any of the projects in the 14 day homemade with love series, I'd love to see them. Um, please join my Facebook group and share your photos. I'll leave a link down below to where you can join and also head over to my blog to see more step-by-step -step photos of how to um, create these stencils and how to use the glass etching cream. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel while you're at it, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.